Welcome to Mojato on Art. Well, for over 180 years, people have been debating whether photography is art. They say it's too mechanical, it's just too lateral, and it lacks all imagination. Well, today's episode is all about the art of photography. We're going to be showing you photographs from some brilliant guys, and you can decide whether this is art. It's safe to say that Roger Ballin is one of the most iconic photographers of our time. Spanning over 40 years, his work takes the viewer on both a psychological and an existential journey. Often called dark, disturbing and strange, his photos confront and challenge the viewers. Let's take a look. Photography, it seems, has its limits because one must capture what exists before us. But legendary artist Roger Ballin was never tied down by that. The New York-based photographer has been making images for more than five decades, creating works that cull the depths of our unconscious. He aims to help viewers of his images come to terms with the unknown parts of their psyche, which, he says, heavily influence our behavior. Done. The works do not quite look like they're actually photographs, and his method is dark and complicated. Often, the subjects of his works are certain outcast images and elements of society. Make a monkey face. In fact, that was how curator Siddharth Sangvi and Roger Ballin came to become friends. I took him shopping for rat cages in Mapsa Market and we really hit it off because rats, birds uh, are a primary theme in some of the works in Asylum of the Birds, which we're actually showing right up here. Actually, his work for me is very sublime. There's a lot of grace in it. And it is always looking at that conflicted line between what we call sanity and the construct of insanity. Dattaraj Salgankar is the chairman of Sunaparanta Center for the Arts, where the exhibition was held. We take our chances, we want to push the envelope, and we want to bring cutting-edge artists into Goa to show what art in the next century is about. His art defines, in a way, photography with drawings. And now he's got videos along with that. It's a different metaphor to probe into the mind. He's a world-class artist, in the true sense of the word, and he makes such a meaningful contribution to the human mind and art. We are delighted to have him. Here, Roger Ballin's new collection, called Theater of Apparitions, saw its international debut. This new body of work, they're really just things plucked out of his dreams. They're dreamscapes. They're sort of spirit beings that he's been able to capture. And I think with Theatre of Apparitions, he's been able to master something of what I think of as the inverted photograph, or when the photographer is taking images out of his consciousness and his psyche, and being able to bring them out and, and, and as physical objects. So it's actually a psychological object that he's been able to frame. I think I'm very grateful to him for that lens. Roger Ballin's Theatre of Apparitions is full of scenes that provoke and sometimes elicit discomfort. In some works, distressed eyes look out at you. Humans have sex with angels. Decapitated heads float in space. At the opening, we met a psychoanalyst based in Goa. Naturally, he had much to say about the exhibition. As a psychoanalyst, what I look for in art is not all the things of technique and color and form and etc. All that is not important to me, but the emotions which they... There isn't too much laughter in his emotions, so if you're looking for laughter, I don't think Roger Balance is your one. On my way to the asylum house, I'll often stop at witch doctor markets 
scrap yards and pawn shops at various corners of the city in search of odds and ends that I can use in my photographs or provide for those in need. Asylum of the Birds, an older show of balance, was also on display. Hey, where are you? Oh. The series of images are a foray into the surrealty of our everyday and the contradictions we internalize. Archetypal symbols from the deeper levels of the human subconscious pervade my photographs. This place is untamable. It has its own rules and functions according to its own laws. When I create photographs, I often travel deep into my own interior, a place where dreams and many of my images originate. I see my photographs as mirrors, reflectors, connectors that challenge the mind. The significance of the birds for Roger Ballen has always been is that uh, they're mythic connectors between uh, the world of the living and the world of the dead. Nice but in his photographs particularly, they bridge the gap between the world of the sane and the perceived insane. So you have, you know, like a young child with a pigeon um, in, in their mouth. Um, and it's very disturbing, but it wouldn't be disturbing if it was actually just a piece of chicken that was on your plate. There it goes, there it goes. And that might there be true, goes. because despite the monochromatic nature of his photographs, art is, as Roger Ballen says, not simply black and white. There are lots of grays in between. The light comes from the dark. Wasn't that just wonderful? Now how far will you go to take the perfect shot? Photographer Dan Elfinick claims that he can even give up his own life to take the perfect photo. Now he goes around photographing abandoned and derelict buildings around the world, often finding a beauty in things that are long forgotten. This is his story. The festival also opened its doors for artists who have never showcased their work in India. Like Dutch photographer Dan, whose adventurous eye captures the beauty of all things old and decayed. I travel the world looking for abandoned places. These are not ordinary places, but for example castles where the photo family album is still on the shelf, but on a thick layer of dust. Uh, hospitals where the bed sheets are still on the bed and pharma houses where it leaves like everybody just dropped everything and just ran away never to return. Uh, these places are not uh, available to the public uh, so I'm not allowed to be inside so I uh, climb over rooftops, uh, go to tunnels, go upsailing just to be able to get in and out without breaking and changing anything. So it's really quite the adventure and on the inside I take photos of the beauty of decay and these photos are uh, printed on special materials which are uh, sold all over the world through art fairs and art galleries. If you've got the art bug looking at all these great photographs, here's a look at all the events that are taking place around the country. After the break, we take a look at the featured artists of the week in the world of Mojato. Don't go anywhere. Delhi. Head over to catch the artworks of Tara Kelton and Avinash V. Raghavan at the variety exhibition that addresses the impact of screens on our lives and our growing dependence on technology. You can catch a robot-powered video installation that navigates the floor to a digital print titled Homeland where patches of colourful cloth printed with digitised images appear sewn together to form the surface of a tent. If you're looking to take a holiday in the hills, do head over to Gunehar in Himachal Pradesh where they have the In the Woods and Open Air Art Exhibition. A one-of-its-kind show hosted by four tables, it hopes to change the perception about viewing art. The showcase focuses solely on the gathering of music, art and the spoken word with the aim of bringing responsible tourism into the area. Chennai is hosting its 5th annual edition of the Madras Jazz Festival and it's all set and ready to roll out. This year's lineup will feature some amazing artists, both national and international. And Delhi. Head over to the Japan Foundation to catch a photo panel exhibition on the history of Japan and India's exchange. This will consist of photographs from the Meiji end to the present time. The exhibition aims to introduce valuable and historical photos to the general public. 
from the Meiji era to the present.